So you really did kill your father? Ghosts never die. They, were, they asked me before to come back. They asked me in the last year and a half to come back. Welcome back, Top Notch Gang, to another video. And Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4 is right around the corner. And I think we pretty much can all agree and confirm that it's coming out on June 7th. Now, the reason that is, is because June 7th will be the 10 year anniversary of when Power Season 1 first premiered. And it also makes sense because June 7th just so happens to fall on a Friday this year. So I think it makes a lot of sense. That's when we will be receiving Season 4 a power book to ghost because it continues the story of course to read now why this is important is because i think because it's the 10 year anniversary we're gonna get a lot of characters to come back into the fold in this video we're gonna dive into three of them those being elisa marie proctor two bit and of course ghost as i think we'll see all of them in some way shape or form in season four to pay homage to all the seasons of power the 10 year anniversary like i said now, when we talk about these characters, we're of course gonna have to make it make sense for where the storyline is going and what's happening currently within Book 2 Ghosts. We're not just gonna be throwing shit at the wall scene with sticks. We're gonna actually make it make sense based off the last few seasons and everything that happened with these characters prior. So as usual, you guys can leave a like, comment, subscribe. You can leave all your own theories down below if you think they're doing anything special for the 10 year anniversary or not. If so, what characters do you see return? but these are the three I'm diving into let's go ahead and get right into it now let's start off with 2-bit and get him out the way because we've seen him most recently and I think he easily has the storyline already set up for him to appear in season 4. To get into 2-bit, he's a soldier. He's been in the streets a long time. He's shown the ability to be loyal, to get his hands dirty, to do what must be done, and to abide by the code of the streets. So I think he's a perfect character to put back in a fold and be an ally for Tariq. Now since Book Go started, all he ever did was rob that nigga T his money consistently this actually came in handy for Tariq as 2-bit did save his life when Kane sent guap after him and this only just made 2-bit up the price and continuously throughout the show we have seen him text Tariq and shit like that trying to get his money but now as we saw in season three he got a letter from Sax that he traded for his car letting him know what Tasha was and now we saw at the end of season three that everyone is trying to kill Tariq he got a way and they're gonna be looking for him now i think with kane him being out for blood him been wanting to kill Tariq, and now drew and diana tricking him into believing that Tariq was the one who pulled up on monet shot her up he's gonna be bloodthirsty he's gonna be on a war path and i think he's gonna see Tariq's car or what he think is Tariq's car now that tubit has it and he's possibly gonna shoot it up and because of that he's gonna think he killed Tariq and got away he's gonna be letting everyone know but of course, I think 2-Bit is going to survive. Now, with this happening, I think he's going to go back to Noam and the whole crew, everyone that's trying to kill Tariq, and he's going to say what he did. But remember, I think Effie saw that Tariq wasn't in his car when he got her out of jail. So when this takes place and they find out it wasn't Tariq in the car, I think 2-Bit will go back to Tariq wanting revenge, join his side, and help fight against the Hadas, Noma, and the whole organization. And once again, I think we need a character like 2-Bit within the story a loyal soldier someone who's been in the game everyone's always asking for him to come back he pops up one episode per season and i think it was because a lot of people in the comments say he had a relationship with courtney kemp it didn't work out so she was trying to like blackball him almost she no longer has anything to do with the show so i think they could give him more of a consistent role within the storyline and like i said it's already set up with him taking Tariq's car Next up, we have Elisa Marie Proctor. Now, a lot of you guys have been mentioning her and I've been trying to figure out a way or a reason she would be implemented back into the story because I think she could be more so used in book force with Tommy. Of course, with Tommy having been the one to take out her dad, Proctor. But also, we do have to remember Tariq was the one who unlocked the door, who left it open so Tommy could get through and get the job done. He took out for ice cream and he made sure she got to the rest of her family safe. The 
interesting part about all this is of course Elisa Marie didn't know much about the things her dad was into within the game how he had to get his hands dirty from time to time and it wasn't until she overheard a conversation between Proctor and Benny about how he let her mom die how he told her he was getting married he made her think she failed the LaBar exam couldn't be a lawyer again and unfortunately caused her to overdose did not call the police or anything like that so that's the conversation she overheard he started to understand the world and life her dad was living in now of course he tried to take her to ghost's penthouse try to hide out when he was testifying against tommy Tariq helped out with that as i just mentioned prior and she looked at Tariq as a friend now i think her auntie i believe it was said something like she knows Tariq is an innocent or is it really her friend he helped set the situation up and that she shouldn't look at him as a friend she was able to read him like an open book so i don't really know if she's an ally or she could be a potential enemy in the future of course with her connections to the italian mafia now the italian mafia could always come back into play if Tariq needs a new plug you know with this whole gnome situation going on and also like i said come back into play with tommy and book force now everyone always speaks of crossovers and if a crossover was to happen this could be a key way to connect tommy alisa marie and Tariq all back under one umbrella with the italian mafia as i just mentioned but if not she is older now she probably has a better understanding of everything that's going on around her and i think she could be utilized like junior valdez as we just seen in season three junior valdez popped back up out of nowhere he wasn't really a relevant character throughout the first six seasons of the original power and now he popped back up he's in the fbi and shit like that and he's gonna become a vital character and vital role in season four with him having a hard drive that sax left for him after he died so we got to see how he was to utilize that and i think lisa marie could be used in the same way depending on how much time has passed in the power world she should be barely older i think her after in real life is like 17 18 years old so i see why it's hard to work her into the story unless they fast forward and say a few years passed in the power timeline but once again i think she could be implemented like junior failed ass and have a more key role more control over what's going on over over the board in the chess game and make moves of her own as far as we know her connection to the italian mafia could be the biggest threat to both noma Tariq, and all of the titles and last but not least the reason you're all are here james st patrick ghost the goat like we you know why we're here now the clip i played at the beginning of the video they, were, they asked me before to come back they asked me in the last year and a half to come back came out right at the end or around the end of season three of power book ghost and he was like they asked him within the last year and a half to come back so that would have been two years by now and now people were having the debate saying basically they wouldn't ask him to come back if ghost wasn't alive now i'm not about to get into that debate in the comments i'm tired of the debate so i'm just going to give both sides if he was the come back as more of a hallucination a vision or to re talking to himself how he did with Kanan and many others in the past like Proctor his teacher Carrie his sister Raina Lakeisha all of them in that one scene that could easily happen with ghosts especially at a time like this with his back against the wall, him needing to win the war, needing advice, and also with him talking to Tasha at the end of season three, and she telling him Ghost was a lot of things, but he wasn't stupid. He could use some advice right about now. But of course, there's a side of people who believe Ghost is still alive, and if that's the case, Sarah's gonna have to whip out the check and they gonna have to pay him, like seriously. Saying, okay, then this. So if they gave me the then this, if they give me the, you know what I mean? now once again let's say he is a lot ghost or amari harwick in real life had an interview where he talked about this not how he necessarily envisioned ghosts going out or dying i envisioned and i shared it with with courtney as well as with joseph seen all of the options to be bigger and to be everything he wanted to be what makes him so addictive is that we all can relate to someone so grounded they never get too big for their britches Tommy is that. Mm -hmm. You started with Tommy. So he gets caught up in some shit. What I envisioned was me having to go give a life for a life. 
So in that clip, he was talking about how he never got too big for his bridges and he wanted to give a life for a life. And he mainly talked about exchanging his life for a time. I think if they want to re change his perspective of his dad, of who he saw him as, if he was to return in a full-time role and he wanted to get rid of the ghost is still alive once and for all, if they wanted to finally put it to bed, if he comes back, let him die for Tariq. That could help a lot with Tariq's character development and then that will also help with the fan base they get to see ghosts again one last time it, it's just a win-win in my opinion it's the best option they could currently take for the people asking why would ghost do this he doesn't care about Tariq that's just not true at all we obviously could see that he do when he stopped Tommy from shooting him first off and secondly he still gave all his money to Tariq in his will and you could even notice that he changed his will specifically specifically after Angela died because he took Tasha out and he made sure Paz and Junior got some money so we know for a fact he changed his will and he kept Tariq's name in so to act like he didn't care about his son would just be untrue which why I think it makes sense for him to die from and Omari Hardwick wanted to give a life for a life and that's why I see him more so coming back as a hallucination and vision now when they had the other scene prior that I just mentioned and showed with all the other characters he got killed or had something to do with their debt in those situations they brought all them actors back because they could cut the check for them they can't do that with ghosts so if they was to bring ghosts back full fucking time the amount they would have to pay him would be too insane so i think they would be willing to cut one big check for him to appear in a scene or two talk to Tariq, especially because as i've been saying this whole video it's the 10 year anniversary you can't celebrate that without bringing ghosts back for at least one scene and again as i mentioned we've seen Tariq have these visions before with kanan kanan was the one who actually pushed and told him he had to get the job done he had to go and kill ghosts he needs to talk to ghosts in this next season it's time this nigga need to get over this hatred he had for him stop thinking his father was stupid and, and all wrong he need to see why he made the decisions he made in the past so if they choose to go the route of a hallucination this should be the best scene this better be the best scene in power universe history because i'm pretty sure they have a lot they need to say to one another overall that's it for this video if you're still here i only picked these three characters because i really couldn't think of anyone else from og power that was still alive or that they haven't already reused or reshown in a scene with Tariq or anyone else so if i missed anybody let me know down below in the comments and i also think these three people have the best storylines that can go forward of course everyone wants to see ghost two bit his shit is already set up people have been asking for him to have a more pivotal a role for seasons now and to see a war between him and Kane would just be so fire and then Elisa Marie Proctor we all love Joe Proctor and his daughter just repping his name his brand coming back into the fold having a bigger understanding of what's going on around her I think it would just be cool as fuck to see this is the 10 year anniversary i believe they'll release a trailer probably in april saying that the season will come out on june 7th the 10 year anniversary and they gotta pay homage to a lot of these characters the storylines and everything that happened over these past 10 years i can't wait for it as usual leave a like comment subscribe and i'm out